Hey, how's it going? My name is Mark and I'm going to give you a quick tutorial so you can start using your Elviros photo light box. Let's get going. Your product is going to come in this box. We're going to open it up, see what's inside and show you how to set it up. So when you open up your box, you're, it's, everything is going to come in this black carrying case. This is extremely convenient because everything you need will fit inside here. We've got our charging box, the tent itself, and these two things right here. So in the white box, you're going to get your uh, charging cable. This is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, we will, I'll show you how to plug this in when it comes time, but for now, let's set this aside. So the main portion of this is this right here. What we're gonna do is we're going to undo these Velcro straps that secure this, set these aside, and unroll this nice and evenly. So in here, we've got our poles. All right, now once we take that out, the first thing you need to do is to build a box structure with the joints that are given and your poles. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so before you set up your box, quick note, there's gonna be two poles that have a hole in either side. These we're gonna set aside because these are gonna go on the top of the box. All right, so these little joints right here, these just slip on nice and easy, and then you just go ahead and keep going. All right, so once you get to this point, you have two sides and the bottom. You wanna make sure that it is flat and that everything is nice and tight and secure. Then you're going to take your two poles with the holes and you are going to put them in opposite of each other. And now you should have a full cube box. All right, so next you have these little screws that come in this little bag right here. These we're going to use to install the lights that are gonna go onto these two pipes with holes in them. We're going to take our two LED lights in this bubble wrap. Now, while you're installing these, you wanna make sure that you put the power cable, this loose end side, on the same side for both. So you want both of these cables pointing in one direction. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that both of these lights are underneath the pipes. So once you've got these screwed in underneath the poles, you've got your box set up. These aren't gonna go anywhere. Make sure both of that your charging ends are in the same location and pointing out the same direction and on top. The next thing you're gonna do once you get your lights put on here is you're going to want to roll out the black tent. This is gonna be folded up and when you unfold it, it's going to come out with a T shape with this long end here. You wanna set this down so that the cables are pointing towards where there's no more fabric over here because they are going to go through a hole on this side. The next thing you do, pull up your sides and your top and we are just going to start zipping this. I'm going to come over here, pull this up, and right here there is a zipper. So I'm just going to start zipping that up. So now you have your basic box shape. Still opens, but now the sides are coming up. All right, once you get it, the side zipped up like this, go ahead and open up your tent and take your two cables and put them through this circular hole right here. There's a little Velcro on the front. We're just gonna slide these cables in here and Velcro that back up. All right, so along with your box comes this dark and this white paper. You can put this inside so that when you turn on the light, if instead of the reflective material that is inside the box, you wanna have a back background or a clear white background, you can place these inside and take your photos that way. To install the background boards, you're going to unzip the front so that you can access it. And if you feel in the front, there's a little pocket here. There is the same thing up in the back corner here. So if you look inside up here, there is the same little hole. That is where the ends of this are going to go so that it stays in. So let's go ahead and install that real quick. All right, once you have inserted it, you will see it fits in this little slot up here and then this slot up here so that it does not move or 
come out of place. Uh, you also have the option of the black background board. Now to finish up, we're just gonna close this back up. You're gonna take your two power cables and the power block that it comes with. It comes with two ends, as you can see. And you're going to go ahead and plug these cables into their respective cords. And now you're ready to go. Plug it in and the installation is done. All right, so after you've set it up, if you think that the light is too bright, there's this little plastic clear filter here. And this is good for diffusing the light. So what you do is you just install it into this portion of it. So I just take it out, undo this pipe right here, and it has these little things right here. Just put these little holes around the pipe. So I unhook the pipe from the corner piece, slide that around the corner, and then do that on all four corners. This box is great if you're looking to do professional photos with absolutely incredible lighting. This is great if you have a product and you want a white or black background and you want a clean surface, solid looking photo that looks professional and is very well lit. This has great lighting, it has both black and white backgrounds, and then even better, you can fold it down and put it in its carrying case. Without all the cuts, this installation took me about 10 to 15 minutes, and it was my first time installing it. The second time I installed it, it took me about five minutes, and the more and more you use this, the easier it will be to install if you are zipping it up and putting it in its carrying case. All right, so if you're looking for a great product that's gonna give you professional looking photos and really take your photography to the next level, this is absolutely a great product for you. I give it a 10 out of 10 star review and hope you enjoyed as much as I do. Good luck.